Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here and in this video I'm going to be talking about what to sell on eBay. Now I like to create these videos to let you guys know what you guys can actually sell on eBay and things that are really simple and easy and free to get. Sometimes they're not free but most of the time I will try and do videos where I can show you guys really simple free things that you guys can find um, to sell on eBay. So today's video is going to be selling pins. So what do I mean by pins? So you know those collectible pins um, that you know people put on their lapel or on their jacket or something. And I'll give you live examples of the different types of pins that I've sold. So you guys, if you guys can find these, uh, definitely sell them. So these, all these pins that I have received are free from other people or friends or I've got them at events and um, they're really small so they're very easy to send. You can send them in a bubble mailer. Obviously they're not flat because they'll have like that clip and the pin on the back so shipping for me was around $3.99 sometimes a little bit more depending on which country I was sending it to. But let me explain this first example here. So this is a Starbucks coffee pin and if you don't know already, Starbucks fans are die-hard collector fans which is a good thing for you guys if you are selling Starbucks stuff. Uh, Starbucks fans, collectors, they love this kind of stuff. So when I got these pins, I actually got these pins from my sister and I got like eight of them. They were in a Ziploc bag and there was like a ton of them and I was super excited because I knew that this wasn't a pin that was... Um, I knew that it was a rare pin. I didn't think that it was a pin that was heavily circulated. So when I searched on eBay uh, looking for this pin, I couldn't find it anywhere. So, so that was a good thing for me. So what I did was I listed this pin and I did it on auction because I didn't want to set a cap for myself. I wanted to see how high it could go and I wanted people to do a bidding war on it. So this particular pin, when I listed it the, for the first time, went up to $25 to $29 American. And that is pretty freaking awesome for a free item that I just got. So I believe I sold that for it, they it different it ranged differently because because the bidding wars were always different each time. And I only listed one each time so that people would would fight over it and not think that there was gonna be another one. I wanted it to seem like that was the only one so that they would, you know, put their bidding high. So that one sold between $25 to $29 and after the fees and everything and the shipping, it's probably just over $20 profit. Just pure profit after that and that's pretty awesome. So I sold all eight for at least a $25 profit. Uh, I think one time it went up to $30 or $40, something really amazing like that. Um, and I made a lot more profit, obviously, on that one. But it varied, and it never went below $25, which was really cool. So if you can find this pin, I highly suggest listing it because it was a very hot, rare item. Alright, so let's move on to the next pin. Alright, so this is also a Starbucks pin. This was for the coffee, uh, the Ethiopia blend, when they were reintroducing it or something. I don't really even know for sure, but they had a pin for it to do like a promotion or something. They were featuring it. And again, I got um, a whole bunch of them. And these ones sold for between 10 to $15 per pin. Uh, same with the shipping, $3.99. I did it for auction. So I was probably profiting between $5 to $10 per pin. Again, these pins were totally free and it, you know, all I had to do was just list them. So uh, that one, that was a good one. So if you find that one, that one's a little bit lower than the other one, but still sells. 
next pin that I've sold is this pin. Where did we get this? I think my dad got this somewhere. I can't remember. It was around the 2010 Olympics here in Vancouver. You know when there's events, like main events, like, you know, Winter Olympics, things like that. They give out, like, commemorative pins. And when they do, they give them out for free. And when you when they do, be sure to grab those because that's money right there. That's free money. So this one sold between $10 to $15. And I only had one of them because my dad just randomly had it on his desk. And I asked him if I could sell it. So that's another thing is when you're at events or anything, when they're giving out pins, you might think that they're stupid or, you know, it's just like whatever. But grab them because honestly, they are worth money. And it all adds up. Okay, so this was a McDonald's pin. It's a Ronald McDonald's shoe. And I got this when I worked in McDonald's a long time ago when I was much younger. And I just always kept it. And when I started to get into selling on eBay, I thought, hey, you know what? I don't really need this anymore. It was on my hat before, that McDonald's hat, my visor, and might as well sell it. These days, I'm not really into keeping little physical knickknacks. I'm more into filming memories. So I'd much rather do like an adventure or travel somewhere rather than keeping little things. I used to be a really big collector of lots of things. So this pin sold between 10 to $15. I only had one of them. And again, it was free. I got it when I started working. And again, you can make money off of that. All right, so the last pin is this uh, Toronto Pan Am Games 2015 pin. And I actually, I got this pin not in Toronto. I got it in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada. I was at an event for a torch relay because my friend was singing in the, um, in the opening ceremonies and she got this pin for free. I told you, at these events, they give out pins for free and they are collector's items because people like to collect these. So I listed this one up um, right when the Pan Am Games were happening in Toronto, sold it for 10 to $15, made free money again. I never paid for any of these pins. So that's all for this video, guys. I just wanted to share a really easy thing, maybe check in your shoe boxes or anything you've been collecting if you used to collect things or if your friends or family have stuff like that. You can definitely make money with pins. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, a subscribe, a comment, all that would be very much appreciated. And if you liked this video, please check in the description below. We have some playlists of more videos on eBay and other things like that. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.